Hi, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I'm dealing with a green pool. I think the problem is the alkalinity is too low. Basically it's at zero. I just did a test on the water and the test strip for the alkalinity is basically showing it's right at zero. What I'm gonna use, I picked this up in Walmart, uh, Arm & Hammer baking soda. Uh, you can use it in your pool <clears throat> to raise the alkalinity and it gives you a chart right on the back of the bag on how much to use. My pool is a 27 foot round. Uh, it holds basically almost 18,000 gallons. So what I'm going to do first is backwash the filter which I've been doing uh, off and on the last few days I've been vacuuming it out but it hasn't worked so I'm gonna backwash it now you can see from backwashing it's coming out green from the filter so I'm just gonna run this for about a minute or so until it clears And then I'll add the Arm & Hammer baking soda. Okay, I'm going to shut off the pump, stop backwashing. Put the filter back on to filter. Okay, this is a 12-pound bag of baking soda. On the back, it gives you a chart. If your pH is less than 7.2, and it tells you how much to add if your alkalinity is a certain point it gives you the breakdown on how much to add okay according to this chart the lowest uh, alkalinity range that they have is 20 parts per, per million and it says to add per 10,000 gallons of water 12 pounds so I'm basically going to put in this whole bag and I'm going to let the filter run for you know a good 8 to 10 hours probably even 12 hours and then I'll come back and check it tomorrow okay I'm just going to add it directly to the skimmer I'm just uh, adding some and then waiting about at 30 second intervals and then adding some more for about another 20 30 seconds. Now, for me, being my alkalinity is basically at zero, I added about half the bag right to the skimmer now I have a bucket and what I'm gonna do is fill the bucket with pool water I'm gonna add some I'm gonna add some baking soda to the bucket of pool water to dilute it and I'm going to stir it up and dump it in the pool around the edge. Just going to stir this up. And now I'm just going to walk around the pool and dump it along the edge of the pool. And I'm going to do this for the rest of the bag. Okay, this is basically the last of the uh, baking powder that I have, um, or baking soda, I'm sorry. So I just finished doing it all the way around the edge of the pool, and with this last bit I'm just going to kind of dump it into the center of the pool.
And if there's any residual left in the bucket, just kind of rinse it and just dump it out in the pool. Now I'm gonna let the, the filter run overnight. I'll sign off for now and then I'll log back on tomorrow and we'll check it out. I've had the pump running for about eight hours after I put the baking soda in. And then I had it on a timer that it shut off and it was off for about four or five hours. I just put the filter pump back on. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just vacuuming the heck out of the pool. Uh, there's a lot of green algae or whatever it is at the bottom so I'm just trying to get that out with the vacuum I vacuumed out the pool you can see it still has a cloudy greenish tint to it so what I'm going to do now is backwash the filter just move it to backwash and then we'll run this for about a minute to a minute and a half. You just want to get all this green algae out of the filter so it's not pumping it back into the pool. <clears throat> you can see how green this is. So we're just going to run this until this water starts getting a little bit clear. Okay, the water's starting to get clear. <clears throat> so we're going to go shut off the filter and put it on rinse. Shut down the filter. Turn the handle to rinse. And then we'll put the filter back on for about 15 to 30 seconds. Okay, we can shut that down now. And I'm going to put it back on filtration to filter the water. And I'm going to run this uh, probably for a good 24 hours continuously. Uh, for this size pool, it takes about six to seven hours for all the water in the pool to filter through the filter for one cycle. So I want to run this to at least give it two or three cycles just to get everything out of the pool. And as I said, tonight I'm going to shock it. Uh, and right now I'm just going to test the alkalinity just to see if it was raised from what I did yesterday. I have my sample of water from the pool, which I got from about a foot underneath the filter inside the pool. Uh, when you take a sample, you want to go down at least a foot to get that sample. I have my test strip here which I'm gonna dip in and we'll see what the readings are. You just wanna put it in for a second, pull it out and leave it flat. And we'll start seeing what these readings are. Uh, the first one for the chlorine, the purple, it says to wait 20 seconds to get an accurate reading. So, the top one's the purple for the chlorine. So that looks to be a little bit high. For the pool, it says to be four to six. And according to this, it looks like it's almost 10 to 20. The pH is it's about 6.8. And that's a little bit low, but the pH could be low because the alkalinity was at zero. So once the alkalinity starts to rise, that should bring up the pH. Now the total alkalinity right now, the green, the third one from the top, one, two, three. This green one, it looks around 40 parts per million. So that's still low because for alkalinity, you want it to be between 80 and 100 or 80 and 120 according to this. So you want the alkalinity 
to be between 80 and 120 and it's a little bit low so I do have another bag of uh, baking soda that I'm gonna put some into the pool again I have a new bag of uh, baking soda yesterday I put in the whole bag which was 12 pounds and the reason I put in 12 pounds yesterday is because the alkalinity said zero now today with this reading it's showing 40 parts per million and we want to bring that up at least 65 to 70 more parts per million so I'm going to check the chart on the back and that's where we're at right now it says if you're at 40 parts per million you want to add nine pounds of baking soda so it's almost the whole bag but not quite just uh, full disclosure I didn't measure out the nine pounds I'm just guesstimating uh, it's a 12 pound bag so at 40 parts per million they recommended nine pounds so I'm just leaving about a quarter of the bag in here uh, I did the same thing I did yesterday I diluted it in a bucket of pool water and then spread it around the edge of the pool and I put maybe about two pounds or so into the filter itself into the skimmer uh, this is the last dose I'm gonna throw in now and then the last remaining bit just gonna kind of chuck into the middle of the pool all right so like I said I'm gonna let the filter run for about 24 hours uh, I might backwash it once in between there maybe about 12 hours from now and I'll log back on tomorrow and we'll see how it looks today's day three the water has lost its uh, greenish tint it's still a little bit cloudy and if you look on the bottom there's a little bit of residual green algae on the bottom uh, nothing like it was yesterday so I'm gonna vacuum out the pool and I'm gonna put the remaining three pounds of baking soda that I have left I'm gonna put that in before I put the baking soda, the three pounds in the pool, uh, I tested the water one more time. And according to the test, my alkalinity, uh, it's been sitting in the sun for a few minutes, so that's why it faded a bit. But my alkalinity was at 80, which is the minimum for the ideal alkalinity so looking on the back of the baking soda package if your alkalinity is at 80 parts per million you want to add three pounds so that's what I have left in the bag and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put it in with the bucket with the pool water and dilute it. Give it about five to six hours with the pump running again. And then I'll test the water one more time. I just finished vacuuming out the pool really well. Especially around the edges and the walls. And I also backwashed it again. And I have my mixture of baking soda and pool water and I stirred it up I'm gonna put the remaining three pounds in the three most important things you can do if you're in the same predicament as me as far as green tinty cloudy water is use baking soda depending on the size of your pool check the back of the bag you want to use the right amount of that you also want to backwash 
uh, quite a few times. I've in, in, in the three days, I think I've backwashed probably about six or seven times to get the green water out of the filter. And that's the third thing is you want to run this filter pretty much non-stop. Uh, that's kind of like the heartbeat of your pool. It pumps all the impurities out and then you backwash it to get them out of the filter. So what I'm going to do now is, oh sorry, with backwashing so much you might have to add water to your pool. Uh, which I'm doing right now. It uh, lowered the level just from the amount of times I was backwashing it. So I'm going to add the remaining three pounds and I will check back in in about five hours with the pump running and I'm going to test the water again. Today's day four. Last night I shocked the pool. Uh, I wasn't able to get to the store to get more baking soda so the shock seemed to work the pool is definitely a lot clearer so what I'm gonna do now is backwash it one more time and use the test kit on the water to see what it reads I'm backwashing it one more time just to get the filter clean this clean water will clear up in about a minute to a minute and a half you want to make sure your filter is clean of this so it can circulate the pool water correctly. Okay, it's running clear. So I'm going to shut off the pump and put it on filtration. The pump is back on filtration and now I'm going to test the pool water. I have my test strip. I'm going to put it in, take it out, and see what the readings are. The free chlorine seems pretty good. Uh, the pH is at about 6.8, which is a little bit low, but that could still be because our alkalinity is at about 80. So that has to increase a little bit up to about 110, 120. So what I'm gonna do is go to the store and get another bag of uh, baking soda and put some in and just align the alkalinity to the correct level and that should keep the pool running nice and clean. So the pool, the water is clean, clear. Uh, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it and consider subscribing. I have videos out every Thursday and Friday so thanks for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.